guys, I'm all welcome back to my art channel. This video is kind of more of a spontaneous video because basically I was just procrastinating and browsing through one of my Dragon Ball mangas. I also have my comic markers right in front of me, always staring at me like, why don't you use us? Like ever. I, I couldn't take it that my comic markers are mad at me. So basically I started smearing around and I kind of like how the the skin tones look and then I did some more. This looks terrible by the way. So I thought why don't we just try to color a more complex panel and so I found this one and today I will try to color this panel with you. Uh, we're gonna start with drawing the background. The colors that I'm gonna use I want to test them before I start on the other side so because sometimes it's pretty hot because the caps on the Copic markers they look so different because this looks basically like a darker color but actually when you paint it this is the darker color and this is a lighter color. So I will try to work really fast here and it definitely bleeds a lot so uh, you definitely have to be quick and still cautious that you don't you know draw over the figures or something. And one tip that I can definitely give you when you draw with markers, guys, don't start too dark. Okay, once this is still wet, let's actually try to do a, kind of a, like a nice gradient. So I'm gonna use the, the darker green on the top here. And I'm gonna try to work this in really quick so we can have like a cool gradient. I don't want this to be too dark so I'm gonna leave it like this for now. Let this dry and then you know we will take a look at it in a couple of minutes see how it is actually dried. Let's continue with with Kuririn's skin I think. I could only actually recommend to keep your colors kind of limited so don't use all the Copic markers that you have. I have 36 times 3 Copic markers which makes uh, 124 okay so I think this is a good starting point for our skin tone so let's say the Sun is coming from the top right so we are gonna leave just a bit of a white spot where we think the sunlight is hitting our character man I, I just love Toriyama's art so much I, I really cannot tell you how much it's childhood to me, it's like awesome. I, I just love it so much guys, it's... He's my all-time favorite artist. So let's pick a bit of a darker tone for the skin. Let's keep in mind that the sun is coming from the right, top right, so we will have the shadow on this side. And this looks pretty, like a pretty hard shadow right now, but uh, once this dries, it will not look that hard anymore, so... We don't have to be too cautious with this. I love how that looks so far, guys. What do you think? Um, I think I want to color the, the ground and the wall down here with like an earthy tone. Yeah, I think that could work. We are once again starting super bright with almost the brightest earth tone we could find and then we're gonna work our way up slowly to darker and darker colors. I think it's time to start coloring in the suits. So I'm a bit scared of, of, of doing this. Ooh, this is pretty dark. I don't know if this will work. Okay, I will try to leave some white spots in here as well. So we can have like more like a watercolor look almost to it. I want to try to make this thing in the back actually look like a golden architectural thing. I don't know what it actually is supposed to be. So I will use these colors. I will start with a really bright yellow and then I have like a 
yellow, red and a brown tone. And I will try to actually create something that looks like it's golden. This is pretty random. I'm like doing this like without having like a clear plan how to color in gold with with copying markers, but uh, yeah. We're gonna let the gold dry for a second and we're gonna try to draw in some shadows on our red suits because I really don't like how they look so far. But I think we could actually choose a, a bit of a darker red because then we would see the shadows better. Okay, I'm gonna stick to those harder shadows here because I want to have, as I said, like this cell shading look. I like it a lot more than like having like this smooth coloring with Copic markers. But this is just purely personal taste to be honest, so... Okay, cool, I like it. That's definitely already pretty cool. We are actually gonna draw in our individual bricks on the wall here. I think that will give it a lot more character and this will look kind of cool. And we're gonna add a shadow, like here. And here is our final version of this artwork. I really love how it turned out. So if you like this video, let me know down in the comments basically. Uh, and maybe we will be able to do a whole page or a spread page in a future video. I also have a lot of different mangas laying around. So maybe next time we can do a different franchise. Feel free to subscribe. Leave a like, that's super important if you want to support the channel and that's also really highly appreciated by me.